<laughs> Sitting on with Kenny, out on with Kenny D. Uh -huh. And I know you're gonna like it on your color TV screen. You're watching at home with It's Friday night, so come on in the house. My name's Kenny Dean, and of course, you know yours. Well, will it snow tonight? That's the big question. I'll just let you know tomorrow it's going to be a cold, cold day. Uh, so get out of it and enjoy it. Let me tell you something. This guy has not been on the, ever been on this show. He has been my neighbor. He's been my friend and your friend for many, many years. <laughs> he uh, used to uh, open for Aerosmith many years ago. <laughs> he went on with the Journey and Rolling Stones. Yep, I'm talking about the old rocker, Benny Bailey. Benny. <laughs> I sung a many a tune, buddy, I'm you, telling you. You got your wildcat cap on. That's uh you graduated. Thank you for coming out here yeah, tonight I, doing I, this. I I graduated from high school. Uh, from Benjamin Russell. Yeah, Benjamin Russell. What 1964. Year? All right, who was the coach at that time? Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Coach Nolan. Okay. Coach Nolan. Okay, Coach Nolan. Uh -huh. Uh how about basketball? I'm just trying to uh good. Because you God. played basketball. Did who you was play the coach at, uh, uh, every year? Did you no. play foot, uh, basketball? No, I just I played baseball and football, but I never did. I played one year of basketball. What, what, I had too much running. Was, was Mr. Nolan, a uh, 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 coach? Nolan was he baseball uh, coach, coach Line? Coach uh, Nolan, line. yeah, it was Coach Line. Was the basketball coach, and Coach Lee was a wrestling coach. Right. Did you? So you didn't wrestle either. No, I went out there one day. They throwed me in the middle of a mat out there with Larry Bolt and Wink Malin. Whoa, 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 whoa. And Wink Malin was been a state champion for four yeah, years. Yeah. Larry Bolt, pretty nice-eyed young man. Yeah. He, th he threw me in the middle of the mat, and they threw me around like a d dummy out there. And <laughs> I told him, I said, I ain't no wrestling dummy. I turned around and left. I ain't go back. Was that heavyweight? The heavy, oh, heavyweight. Oh, yeah. 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 If you weighed over 200 pounds, you was heavyweight. <laughs> and Larry and Wink was heavy, heavy. Yeah. I oh. knew Wink uh, Malin was a heck of oh, he a wrestler. A heck. Well, uh, unbelievable. Uh, Larry Boat was my uh, football coach, like in the, the Pee Wee League or yeah. something, or maybe r right above that. And I, uh, he taught me how to use a flipper. He loved put that flipper thing on his arm and just knock my head off. Uh, I don't think I ever heard anybody. Uh, <laughs> no, he was a, he was a, he was an athlete. Yeah, he was an athlete. I think he was a good football player. Oh yeah, uh, oh, uh, too. Yeah. Was, was that some good time? Who was the principal at that time? You uh, remember the principal? Uh, Would he have been the principal the whole? No, that was the one that tore my butt up. <laughs> oh, uh, for what? Flipping in the hall, flipping coins. <laughs> I didn't know that it, it, you weren't allowed to flip coins uh -huh, in the hall uh -huh. at school property. Well, he come down through there and caught me and about three others where he's flipping. And he took us into the office in there and told us to grab the other side of the desk. He hit me three times. He lit me up off the floor all three times. <laughs> I swear he broke my tailbone. <laughs> I went in and had to go back to class. I couldn't sit down. I had to stand up. Uh, I tell you, uh, that, 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 I should know that name by heart. Let me let me tell you something. He's saying uh, that he tore his tail uh, up. Let me tell you something about this guy right here. He's the only one. Of, I, and I'm saying he's the only guy I know that's got a uh, that says he has a butt. He doesn't have a butt. It's nothing but a bone back there with a hole uh, in it. A crack. A crack. Yeah. Hey, you got a crack. A crack in with it, a too. hole in it. Yeah. Cause you, you, uh, how'd you do that? How'd you? Ah, uh, that was pretty well. He hit one spot, and uh, that's where the tailbone was at. So mm -hmm. he he worked on it, but yeah, it wasn't. It still ain't. I ain't. It can't hold my britches up now. Did you? Uh, did uh, did that break you from flipping? Cars? Oh yeah, I didn't flip no more. <laughs> I wouldn't have flipped in if I'd known the difference. Did you ever get in any more trouble during high school that you remember? Uh, I mean, that you not that caught, I won't talk about. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I'm and, gonna tell you a good. All uh, right. You, your uh, brother-in-law, Phil Riddle. Oh yeah. Now, I about I'm, my brain is so little that it won't hold up my britches. If I ain't got that <laughs> belt tight, they'll come off. Uh -huh. I mean, they just well, we was coming out of the outback down in Auburn one night and walking across there and. About that time, my britches hit the ground. 
<laughs> and there were some people in two cars sitting there. <laughs> and I remember him pointing. Uh -huh. That dang Phil, I thought he was going to have a heart attack. He was laughing so hard, uh -huh. but they hit the ground. But they, I got him back up about as quick as I have anything in my life. <laughs> I won't ever forget that. And that Phil real knows he likes a good laugh. Oh, God, yeah. He still laughs about it. We go to the outback now, he, he can point to the spot they fell, and he'll start laughing. You and uh, 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 Kay, your wife, my sister Dee, and her husband Phil uh, real, have eaten out ooh, many God. a time over the years. Y'all have done a lot of traveling. A lot of uh, traveling. Over the, over uh, the years. Yeah, we just get in the car and go. Not, a, not even a plan. No. That, that's way, we that's went up to South it. Carolina. We got in the car one weekend, went to South Carolina. Didn't even have a, have a clue where we was going. Probably uh, one of the best weekends. Oh, we had a ball. Yeah, had a ball. I don't think bad about it. They didn't have a gambling joint up there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we we go we go to Hollywood and, you know, Boulder Vodge, mm -hmm. and different places down there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we got your sister started in that. And I think she, she likes it. Mary Francis and Wilma will be proud of her. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I want to ask you about your family. I grew up in a, a family, Mary Francis and Wilma Dean. In fact, I was just thinking about this today. With them in our house, of course, we, we went to Flint Hill Methodist Church every time the doors were open, which I'm not complaining about. I think it was a, it was a great thing, brought up in a Christian home. If we said darn... We were in some big time trouble. Your dad pulled back and your mom. Where, you probably answered this to many folks, or I've been asked this from many folks. Where did Poe back come? Anybody that had ever worked at Russell over the years, way back when? They didn't know what his real name was. They called yeah. me and asked me what his name was in the phone book. What uh, was his real name? Aubrey. That's right. Okay. okay. And, uh, but they called him Poe back. He got in a fight down at Our Town School one day. I won't ever forget this. He said, uh, a couple of boys jumped on him mm -hmm. and uh, hurt his back. Well, mm -hmm. he, you know, he got it, his back got hurt and started limping, and they, and they started calling him Pull Back mm -hmm. from then on, and it stuck with him I have, all his I have life. Never, I've never known that. Pull Back. You yeah. said Our Town School. Yeah. Where was Our Town right School? Right up above the store there, right up on the hill up there. Really? Our Town. Yeah. It used to, somebody, somebody lived in it. I don't know where it's still there or not, but somebody lived in it for years and made a house out of it. Really? Yeah. That's where it was at. Was that first them. grade through the twelfth grade. Oh yeah, twelfth grade. I have never son oh, of a dear. gun. I remember Daddy used to. If I he didn't like what I was doing, that's what I used to hate when they call you Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Benjamin, mm -hmm. come in. You know, you oh my in. God, what I done. <laughs> he grabbed me and by the arm right mm -hmm. here and pinched me. Mm -hmm. I hated it when they called me Benjamin. <laughs> my, I'd brother him just take a belt and beat the devil out of me, and then my mama get that little old switch mm -hmm. about this long mm -hmm. and get on my legs. Mm -hmm. God, I just told you just beat me <laughs> and put and do that. Did, did, you, did you ever have to go out and get your own switch? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever have to go back and get another one because you brought one in too small? Well, no, because I, I knew I'd had to go back, so I didn't want to got one. Cause I knew what was coming, but I never did get that many women because I was a good little kid. You know, for, now, now for, you're starting to lie. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'd get in trouble that one while when what? I killed one of my grandfather's chickens one day. That's the worst whooping I ever got. I was throwing rocks at it. <laughs> My daddy said, Benny, quit throwing rocks at that chicken now. Mm -hmm. That thing lays a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to. So daddy turned his back and left. And the next rock I threw, I hit him right in the head and killed it. <laughs> Great he come back around the corner. And I said, oh, my God. He said, boy, what did I tell you? He reached over and got a plow line off the pool. He got a what? Plow line. He used to go on, when he was plowing mules, a rope about that big around. Yeah, I know. He grabbed that and turned it around. And wore that? Wore it out. Whew. I was trying to, you know, you, you try to run. Mm -hmm. He grabbed me by, he had me by the hand and the arm, mm -hmm. and I was trying to run. He was whooping me the whole mm -hmm. time I was trying to run, because you are trying to get away from something like that. Were you a big little boy? Yeah. I used to wear them serious Huskies. <laughs> <laughs> had to order them. They didn't sell brew jeans to fit me as serious huskies. I won't ever get that. I, 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 I was big around than I was tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, used to be. I, I, uh, yeah. So when when you were coming up, did y'all shop uh, when you could find anything like a, a fair store or Frozen's? Could you find clothes in the there? basement? In the basement. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pete yeah. Calabro. Yeah. Uh, of course, that's where the, the huskies Yeah, uh, huskies were. were always in the bar. Yeah, that's where all the big people went down in the hut in the basement. We didn't get to go upstairs where all the other regular people went. <laughs> we shopped downstairs, you know, in the basement down there. And it was a, a Foshi, Mr. Foshi. Mr. Foshi used to be a fast. Mm -hmm. He was a fast old basement man. Him mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Pete, 
was in the basement. Had Mr. Pig, Foshi. Pigskin Pete was a unique individual. Oh, yeah. Uh, from, uh, you may correct me on this, from New York, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and he brought his family here, and they grew up here. Mm -hmm. He was very much, he was a, a, a great uh, announcer. He was mm -hmm. a great newspaper uh, man. Yeah. Um, I went to school one of boys. Probably. Steve. 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 Um, yeah. There was Steve. I went to school with Mary. Uh, Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Uh, mm -hmm. and, but just, just, a, just a good family. Yeah. Uh, just, His wife was a was real nice. She is. She used to smoke real bad. I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but she was a mess too. Yeah. Smoking. Him and, is that something you ever? Me? You, you, Lord, you ever smoking? Smoked rabbit back and got high as a kite one day. But <laughs> other than that, no. My daddy smoked for I thought, probably I remember, twenty some years. Mm -hmm. And then he decided one day he was gonna quit, so he quit. I mean, it's just. He didn't take no pills. He didn't take his stuff in patches and mm -hmm. he just quit. Did mom ever smoke? No. So no. you never did take up the habit of smoking? No, never did. Okay. Didn't want okay. to. To me, they stunk, you know. That, that was the rabbit tobacco was, was good. Now, if you could just get a hold of it, it was uh, kind of hard to find. But... You found it out in patches. Yeah, and that uh, tomanaka. You used to have a little yeah, knot on yeah, top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, strip it down, smoke it. Put it in a piggly wiggly brown paper. Then it wasn't no good if it wasn't in piggly wiggly brown paper. You know? I used to I, uh, be out there in Nate Young's uh, a pasture back behind where we were uh, brought up on Dave Road, and somehow I would acquire a um, uh, corn cob pipe, uh -huh. and I'd put that rabbit tobacco. I liked it. Oh yeah, I liked it. It, it gets you feeling good. Oh, said, oh that ain't that. You can't get high on that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke enough of it? You did put you it in get, that Piggly Wiggly brown paper you uh, Did you ever get caught smoking? No. Nope. I mean, get, uh, get in trouble. No, never trouble did. Uh-uh. No. Nah. I made sure I was going somewhere where they wouldn't find me. But, yeah. And uh, we used to put the smoke that stuff. If we run out of paper, we'd have to just not smoke. Cause we couldn't use nothing but Piggly Wiggly brown paper. That was all we had. Why the Piggly uh, Wiggly uh, uh, brand? There's some kind of paper. I don't mm -hmm. know what he said. My... Uh, Friend of mine that used to smoke with me, he said, "No, we, you got to have piggly wiggly paper now. You can't get in that." I said, well, that, what is that brown paper? Mm -hmm. So that's what we had to have. But that's about the only place you get brown paper anyway. It was piggly wiggly. You know that, that's something that's changed since me and you were little boys. Lord. I, any grocery store, of course, you know what we're talking about. Any grocery store now, I, I don't remember when it went to plastic bags. Oh yeah. Uh, but you know, it, it always was a. You know, a, a, a grocery. You know, you went. You went to. You had a grocery sack when you That's left. It. You can ask for the paper bags up there now, you know, if you want. Yeah, but uh, most people want that old bag. But you know, the thing about going to the grocery store way back when, and you you'll remember this, at at, at Russell there were three shifts, mm -hmm. and when uh, I guess the two o'clock shift, the the, the 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 horn would sound. Six the whistle, to two, two whistle, to ten, and ten to six. Yeah, the whistles would blow. Mm -hmm. and, and it was a, a traffic jam. Oh, yes. It was. Everybody it was, trying to get out at one time. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. What shift or shifts did you work? Well, or, I worked let, first. Let's, let's start uh, the, the first uh, time you went to work. Well, I worked, I, I worked first for years. Where, where did you? Where did, at the where warehouse first, down there. Were you Mr. first hired at the warehouse? Yeah. Okay. Mr. D. Plassey. I, I remember that Mr. name. Mr. D. was the, mm -hmm. he was the uh, supervisor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we worked in the warehouse. I had to haul that mess to package stuff to the warehouse mm -hmm. and store it, and then we go back and pull it out and ship it. All right, let me ask you this. When Russell was so big with Sears and those mm. little pajamas, mm. is that the same? Same one. Those little footy pajamas. Little footies, yeah. the ones that got sued over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, that was huge yeah. for It had a staple in the bottom. A kid stepped on a snapper. One of them snapped. You yeah. know it snapped up? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what they, the snap was in the bottom of the... Uh, Shoe and the kids stepped on it and they sued Russell. Wow. Yeah. I've never. And I remember I've, they bought an x ray machine for I don't to, to, to look To, to look, look for at every garment that come through there. What, what was it? When you first started, it wasn't automated, was it? Oh, no. I'm talking about in the. There wasn't a distribution center at that time, was no, it? No. Uh -uh. It all went to. Oh, it was on up there. Uh, probably, I worked in the warehouse down there probably 10 to 15 years before that went to the automated. Who were some guys and gals you worked with down that way? Just uh, I like to, I, I like you to mean, hear uh, names. in the automated yeah. or in the no, warehouse? No, in the warehouse. In the, uh, in the warehouse. I just always like to hear names. Well, there's James Shores. Yeah. And uh, see, let me think. Uh, most of them uh, is dead. Mm -hmm. That I worked uh, Mulligan, Joe Mulligan used mm -hmm. to be out of Dable. Mr. Worthy, Tommy Worthy, now Johnny Worthy, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Who's your first boss? Bob Jones. Who's your first boss? D. Plassey. Oh, okay. So who's your first boss? He's my first boss, and my daddy was my second boss. That's the only reason I got to stay on out there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, uh, he took over when Mr. Plassey left. Was, was Poe back hard? I mean, was he hard on you uh, hard. as, a, as a, a, a worker? Well, he told me, me and him had a little talk. He said, now, son, you got to set an example. He said, I'm going to be on you. You know mm -hmm. I am. He said, mm -hmm. but I, you've got to kind of set an example for these other people because I don't want them thinking that I'm easy on you. Yeah. You know. So he, so no he stepped up. No, no, no. Uh-uh. He worked me. And, uh, but I didn't ever mind it. We loaded box cars. Well, I know you, you know, we used to load box cars for I, it. I you remember know? the box cars that uh, I've had a picture. I think Randy Lee and I had a picture yeah. of the pull back. Pull back, yeah. Uh, the, the second load or another load going out with the. Yeah. Um, going to I, Texas. Going to Texas, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and, and they did it for, for many, many, many years. years. Um, I forget the guy who sold, uh, sold that. Uh, <sighs> uh, uh, oh, my God. They Jim. bought a lot of t shirts from Russell. Oh, man. I mean, boss call those, three or four or five a week. You were in there, and, of course, I was, too, it, it, when, when it was rocking and oh, rolling. Yeah, hey, we were rocking and rolling out here on a Friday night. Don't go anywhere. If you just tuned in, yeah, that's my buddy and your buddy, Benny Bailey. We'll be right back. Pay-per-view, not the message had a meaning that was good in any way. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender acoustics and Fender Expo system for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. The Veranda Assisted Living in Dable is in love with you. You see the Valentine tree here. Love is in the air at the Veranda Assisted Living. Now they are a fully licensed, staffed 24 hours a day, meals and snacks daily. Now assistance with bathing, dressing, medication, private baths. The Veranda is looking for you to fall in love with today. And for more information, call 256-786-0560. It's the year-end blockbuster sales event at Vice Motors in Alex City. You know, we're celebrating 50 years in business. I got socks all of that. Save big as we close out our 50th year in business. Save over $10,500 on select 2015 Ram 1500 Crew Cab. I tell you again, buy that box. 2016 Jeep Cherokee, equipped, not stripped. 21735 We guarantee the lowest price. We'll pay the difference in price twice. Buy PriceForDodge.com. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City has so much to offer, like the brand new Spirit jerseys, great assortment of picture frames, Alabama and Auburn items. You can get your game on in a heartbeat there. They also have Candleberry candles like Carolina Sugar Cane Mist, Rock Salt Ice Cream, Watermelon Rancher, new pillar candle holders. Then for the bridal registry, they have monogram crosses, framing, and trays. We also have new floral items such as stems, bouquets, and topiaries. Be sure to get your lake items, and don't forget Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City. The weather outside, and I'm telling you, it's it's cold. That's just all I want to tell you. 47 right now, 30 for a low. Where's the snow? Tomorrow, 
High of 39, low of 24. Still got a 20% chance. Now, remember, we got the polar plunge tomorrow, so it's going to be a little bit over freezing. Yeah, it's going to be cold down at Kalijah right. Uh, right there at the restaurant. Sunday, high of 52, low of 30. Then we're going to start off Monday, pretty nice, high of 58, low of 46. That brought to you by our friends at Ellick City Marine here in Alexander City. Of course, they got their location, uh, Ellick City Marine South in Eclectic, Alabama. 2016 uh, Landau pontoon boats are out now. Go see them. Loving God. Guy Penrod, yes. Folks, if you ever kept up with anything on gospel music, uh, the Gaither vocal band, Guy ben Penrod is the man, has been the man. What a, a, a great guy. You'll get to hear him Sunday afternoon on College Country 97.5 at 5 o'clock. He's my special uh, guest. Make sure you tune in to College Country 97.5 and Guy Penrod Sunday. Well, we're back out here. It's a Friday night. Yeah, it's a, a, a crazy Friday night with my buddy uh, uh, Benny Bailey uh, out here. We, we stopped. We, we, were, we were at Russell. We were talking about... Uh, 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 Truckloads, uh, not truckloads, uh, uh, trailer uh, loads, boxcar loads uh, heading out with Gulf Coast. Oh. Sunny Seals was the uh, uh, the sales uh, yeah. sales sales rep. But that's when Texas. things were rocking wow. and they were a rolling. We were people were begging for Ross products, begging. You know, Ross back then didn't advertise. They well, yeah. never advertised mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. Didn't have and to. Didn't have to because they had the best product in the world. And um, if you you probably look around now, you'll still see Ross products on some of these high school teams that they've had for years mm -hmm. and years and years because it's just so good it just don't wear out. It was made in the U. That's exactly right. Hey, Mr. Lot, Walton, Alexander City, Alabama. Mr. Walton was big on buy uh, buy America. Yeah. Made in the USA. Right. And of course that 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 that. that has changed over the years. Hey, we, we got a, a, went a little bit over uh, just a little bit ago, so we're going to go ahead and take a, another commercial break, and then that way we'll kind of be back on when we come back. Don't go anywhere now. I mean it. For over 30 years, Tallapoosa Ford has been your family-owned auto dealer for hot trucks and SUVs. Now they're raising the bar even higher. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for the last 38 years. And the hot new 15s are hitting the scene. And Tallapoosa Ford and Ford trucks are number one for a reason. America's best truck, combined with our award-winning service department for the region's best warranty work and great maintenance and service. Hello, this is Jeff with Tallapoosa Ford. Ford trucks have led America's truck sales. Come by today and get your best deal on America's best truck. We don't want all the business. Just the opportunity to earn yours. Is there a funeral home that I can afford? One that will respect my wishes and make me feel like nothing was sacrificed? You don't have to spend more to get more. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers serving the area since 1967. We are steel, German-engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Find your steel outdoor products and more at the new Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Southern Pipe and Supplies, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with your decisions on brand names like Delta Faucets and customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235.
Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, formerly with Cardiology of Central Alabama. Residents of Alex City and surrounding areas now have access to UAB Medicine's world-class cardiac care close to home. I have teamed up with UAB to create the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic of Central Alabama, conveniently located in the Russell Medical Center and offering the full spectrum of cardiovascular care. Board certified in interventional cardiology, I am committed to helping our patients enjoy full and active lifestyles. Call us today for an appointment. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available, such as Internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for people just like you. All right, Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. I know we've been uh, showing this this week. We'll change it up next week because that 65% off on the um, uh, Christmas items is now 80%. So it's a great time to do some Christmas shopping. Children's clothes, 65% off at Carlisle's. Ladies' clothes, 50% off. Now they've got a, a, another rack that's 65% off. That's one thing that Lisa continues to do each and every week uh, on, on certain items, marking them down to where you they, they can move them out and you can get a deal at Carlisle in downtown Ellick City. Back out here, my buddy, Jenny Bailey, a, a guy Penrod's going to be our featured artist this, uh, or our guest this Sunday afternoon on Clyde's Country 97.5. We were going back and during the break, we were talking about Mr. Gwaltney. He, uh, I said, uh, did Mr. Uh, Gwaltney ever get on your case? He was a big fan of yours yeah. and Poe back today. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, I read that's one where he never got fired. It was because uh, Mr. Gwaltney run that play. There wasn't one man. You're right. Mr. Gwaltney mm -hmm. was the man. You're right. We go to them meetings. And, uh, you know, how people talk before the meeting starts, mm -hmm. well, they'd be like 50 or 60 people in this room. And everybody would be just jabbering, carrying on. And that man would come through that door. It's just like God walked in mm -hmm. there. It, boom, that's it. You'd yeah. hear a pin drop. Nobody never said another way. He'd walk in and that, everything just, he was, uh, he was well, like, well known. I mean, it was, he was respected. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't think it was, I don't, I don't use the word scared. I'd rather use the word respected mm -hmm. uh, because he, he came to this area, I believe, from the, uh, the Carolinas, uh, married one of the twin mm -hmm. uh, Russells, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the rest was history. Well, uh, you know him and Mr. Sam, see, Sam Walton and Mr. Gene. Uh, Walmart mm -hmm. was big buddies. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they were big buddies. I used to go hunting together and fishing yeah, together all the time. And, uh, yeah, they were big, you know, and used to, Walmart didn't buy nothing from anybody. But Russell, mm -hmm. Jersey brand, mm -hmm. you know. And, For many, uh, many years. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they used to send the trucks up there, and we just load the Walmart trucks. And, uh, when, but, yeah. When it went to, from manual to the uh, the big, mm -hmm. big distribution center. Yeah. You were there. Oh, yeah. You were there for the whole during the building, I set it up. The, the yeah, I helped start set it up. Yeah, was helped it amazing? Oh God! For, barcodes, for people, barcodes, yeah. Now, barcodes hadn't even come out. I mean, right. they, they had come out, but they hadn't been a, you know, we hadn't been in. But anyway, it was ahead of its time. Yeah, they put started barcoding and everything, and everybody thought Mr. Gene that was crazy. They thought that mm -hmm. he was going to ruin Russell mm -hmm. because he went to this barcode. Well, he hired a bunch of people at ISD. That was specialists, right? And barcodes, and they come over there and they developed this gun, and the barcode, and we put every barcode on in that building, and 
if it hadn't have been for that, we could have never kept up with the inventory. With the inventory. Yeah. You know, it used to take us all day to just to do a warehouse. You used to take inventory oh, manual. Yeah. Yeah. And then you take inventory. You, they had an inventory group that inventoried every day. Yeah. But but that, that barcode, tell me if I'm wrong, I remember it, 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 would, it would go across the, uh, like a light, it yeah. would scan it, and it, it would say if it was a, a 310 M, oh, yeah. 12 dozen medium. That was on the box. And you knew what bin it was in. Yeah. It had it, you take it and put it in a location. Yeah. yeah. You scan the location, then you scan the box. And mm -hmm. everything behind that location, that's where it was located at. And it was it, really complex, but it was simple. It was, uh, really? Once it ever got developed, and we and we really got to Not figuring out what was, you know what it was doing. Yeah. it was read. It would read between the lines. Mm -hmm. It didn't read the lines. I always thought for a long time it read the lines, but it read between the lines. Really? Yeah. And I would have thought it read the lines yeah. too. Yeah. But it reads between the lines, and uh, they put that mess up. And it it started going, started going, and we just uh, there was no other way to go back. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's just so many cases in there. I don't know. Yeah, we had, God, like I say, the inventory was the main thing. You could take inventory every day. And yeah. know, and, and, and be real close oh, on, yeah. on what, yeah. you, what you had. Yeah. yeah. I lived, and I bet you spent some cold days cold. at those doors. Cold. Uh. There wasn't no heat in there. <laughs> cold, I'm here to tell you. You can see your breath in there. Uh, like, like a day like, like, like we're having right now, cold. I mean, you, when, when those doors were up, which they were up most oh, times, yeah. the trucks were in and out, yeah. loading them and unloading them and that type yeah. thing. Yes. Uh, that had to be some, uh, were you cold natured or have you oh, already been? Oh, I'm cold natured now. <laughs> I'm were you back get... then though? Oh yeah. Okay. I used to have a, Paul Cromer used to tell me, he said, I used to have a Schultz coat, mm -hmm. which was an army coat with lining, with a pe well, lining inside every day. It would come all the way down to my ankle. Mm -hmm. I used to wear that thing all the time. Cause it, I mean, it was just, we used to have to go out on the docks sometimes and stay out there for a while and check off cases, you know, and uh, that we pull out and it, oh God. Cold, oh. cold days. We got a cold, cold night and a very cold tomorrow. So don't go anywhere because me and this guy right here by the name of Benny Bailey will be right back. I don't remember. <laughs> God. Yeah, I did. If you haven't been to the world famous rodeo club lately, it's time you see the updates and improvements. The rodeo club is open seven days a week, happy hour until seven with absolutely no cover charge. The rodeo club is proud to be Lake Martin's best little karaoke bar. Come relax, have a good time and sing all night at the pony bar inside the rodeo club. It's the world famous rodeo club on 34 in Dadeville. Lake Martin's premier party destination since 1977. And now better than ever before. Four. Looking for the area's best one-stop shop? Foshi's Watts is where to go. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas for you boaters and you lawn care guys. Although cutting the grass is less fun than going to the lake. You can also get live bait and tackle, cold beverages, and they have fresh biscuits starting at 5 a.m. and the best candy prices in town. You can even fill your propane tank and get a bag of everybody's favorite pellet ice for only $1.50. Get it all at Foshi's Watts on Daveville Road in Alex City. The area's best one-stop shop. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Silicon. Right now, Jacob is only thinking about this game. He's not thinking about the clavicle injury he sustained last football season or the subsequent surgery and weeks of physical therapy. He's back in the game. With three orthopedic surgeons and a department dedicated to physical therapy, rehabilitation, and sports medicine, Russell Medical Center gets you back in the game for another winning Wildcat season. Orthopedic Medicine at Russell Medical Center. In downtown Dayville, Alabama, it's where you'll find Payne's Furniture for rocking good times. Got friends coming over for dinner? Well, we got the table set. Every child dreams of having their own bunk bed, make their dreams come true today. 
You'll love this couch and love seat, along with a huge selection of throw rugs with prices to fit your budget. Put your feet up, make yourself comfortable. We'll see you at Payne Furniture in downtown Dayton. Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 256-396-2104. Hey, Dad, let's go to the Sportsman Outpost. Sportsman's Outpost, your one-stop destination for everything outdoors. Guns, archery range, ammo, processor, and taxidermist. Archery manager Randy Winslet, five-time Alabama state champion, says it's attention to detail that sets us apart from our competition. We believe in coming in early and staying late. At Sportsman's Outpost, we think everyone should be able to live their dream. Sportsman's Outpost, your leader in everything outdoors. The Meadows Assisted Living of Alexander City is a 16-bed facility that offers three home-cooked meals daily, including snacks. Other services include local transportation to appointments and outings, assistance with personal care, and 24-hour staff availability. Rates are much lower than traditional long-term care, and rent is month-to-month. -month. The Meadows Assisted Living offers something, too, that you just can't put a price on. Peace of mind. Call today, 256-234-0800. Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama is adding tailgate specials just for you. Hot wings, bio wings, you can buy one or 200. Get with Larry and the crew at 256-354-7705. Now they're still going to have that delicious uh, catfish that they're known for, sweet tea, which they're known for, and everything else. If you've never eaten at Red's Catfish Cabin, I want you to go today. That's in Crackford, Alabama. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City has gifts for every occasion you may have coming up. Like ladies clothes, pajamas, swimsuit bags, towels, sunglasses, koozies for monogramming, monogrammed slippers and wallets, and jewelry for every outing, swimsuit covers, and tanks by Blackbeard. When it's time to go gift shopping, think of Jackson's Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Antique model memories on uh, Highway 280 right next to uh, Satterfield. Uh, let me tell you something. If you're looking for uh, really unique item, items for, for your home, not just antiques. Diane has a whole lot more to offer. I want you to go see her tomorrow uh, and tell her I, I sent you. And then right next door is her daughter, Jamie. So if you have a dog that needs grooming, if you, need a, if you have a dog that needs boarding, you're looking for uh, barks, and you, you notice it right next to uh, Antique Mall of Memories, uh, which is located on Highway 280 uh, in Alexander City. Guy Penrod, we were talking about him being on my show, and he, he is he is such a uh, a, a neat guy, a uh, great singer, uh, has eight children, uh, and he's got young children. They 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 homeschooled every one of those children. Yeah. He's got a new DVD coming out, a live DVD, uh, but. I, I, I tell him you'll hear it in the interview if you tune in uh, Sunday afternoon on Clyde's Country, uh, 97.5. When I'm talking, well, I, I, I interviewed him, I don't know, four or five years ago from a TV show up in Nashville. Well, it was the first time I'd ever met him. Uh, Myla Mason, who is uh, a friend of mine for many, many years, she, uh, he, he was uh, getting ready to do the interview with his guitarist, and he had over there doing a little singing, but he got to hollering, screaming. I went back there to Milo, I said, 
I don't know what's wrong with this guy right here. It's like he's having conniption fit or something. And she just laughed at me like, you fool. He was doing his voice stretching to do some singing. And I told him that the other day because I never had shared that with him. But uh, he's really a super nice guy. I want to go back a few years because that's what me and you are doing right now. If you just tune in, Benny Bailey with me out here. We were talking about your first TV. Tell, tell the story on that. Uh, we lived on Russell Village and Russell, them old Russell houses. Well, I was the first one to get a TV on the village. My daddy brought that thing in. They bought it Western Auto, mm -hmm. bought it in. It was pink and white, Sylvania, 13-inch tele television with rabbit ears. It picked up one station, and that was it. But it picked up what of, I wanted. A WSFA out of uh, Montgomery? Mon Mon uh, yeah, I think yeah. it was Montgomery, yeah. yeah. It picked up my favorite station was uh, uh, Mr. Green Jeans and uh, Mighty Mouse and, uh, you know, all my good shows that you learn a lot from. Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo. Mr. I had Mr. that Green one. Jeans was, was on Captain mm -hmm. Kangaroo. Yeah. Captain Kangaroo was my main man. I learned more from that man <laughs> than I did in 13 years of school. But uh, he was really a smart human being. I, I got to tell you, you're talking about your buddies come pick you up on Saturday morning, uh, go play ball, and you in there watching car time. Yeah, uh, Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> they come in every Saturday morning. They started calling me Captain Kangaroo. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I got called a lot of names, but uh, yeah, every morning they'd come in. They'd just come on, you know, back in, you just come on in the house. Mm -hmm. I'd be sitting in there watching Captain Kangaroo when they want to go play baseball. Yeah. You, you were talking about um, the 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 – Picking up one channel, but then y'all uh, put a spring. What, what were you talking mattress, about? Scr mattress spring. A ma mattress spring up in the tree. It, but but how? I mean, what would you hook it to? Uh, why uh, that coax cable back? Oh, it was okay. Flat. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, we we hooked it to it and then hooked it to the back of the TV. Kind of like an extension. Yeah, up in, in there. Yeah. Well, you get two more channels uh, with one that. and a half. One yeah. and a half. <laughs> yeah, sure did. Yeah. Uh, Coming up, you've always been a big Auburn fan. Oh, yeah. Were you ever an Alabama fan? Nope. Was mom and dad Auburn nope. fans? Nope. My daddy, that's the reason I was Auburn because we used to go years ago to every Auburn game, every mm -hmm. home Auburn game. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, we never even thought about Alabama. Uh, but we always went to every Auburn game. Until he, uh, till he died, mm -hmm. we used to go. Me really? and his family used to go. We used to get the tickets. Um, you remember Ewell Smith? Oh, yeah, I, I sure do. Sure Ewell do. used to give my daddy season tickets well, every, I be every year. Really? Yeah, see, we used to ship everything on North Alabama Express. That's, oh, I mm -hmm. ain't thought about I ain't heard North Alabama nah, Express. Yeah, we I shipped don't everything. Nobody yeah. else could come in there. Yeah. North Alabama Express mm -hmm. was the only one. That, and uh, then they started letting Ryder come in. How about Floyd and Beasley? They used to come in. They started letting them come in. Mm -hmm. Floyd and Beasley, Ryder, and but North Alabama Express, but still, they still shipped everything mm -hmm. they could North Alabama and Express. And North Alabama, tell me if I'm wrong, North Alabama Express was down right below, like, Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah. Right, 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 right in there. No, it's right down below uh, Dr. Uh, I'm just trying to get my, my band straight out there, uh, which would have been on 0280. Right down below the doctor, baby doctor. That used to be their field out there where that big old field is out yeah. there behind that. Yeah. It's a building, it's an income tax building or something right there now. No, but nothing's in it. That used to be where North Alabama was. Well, right there. They had a big old field back in yeah. the back where they kept the trailers. Well, I've yeah. been on. They used to come out there. They were, they treated, uh, well, they, they always was good to Russell because they would come out there. We'd put it on the dock mm -hmm. and then they'd come pick it up and load it up on trailers going out to certain sections. They'd back about five or six, seven trailers in there. And load it up, you know. So You've been around trucks all those years. We, we, we got to talk about that. And then we got so much to catch up on. And it's going, we won't finish it up tonight. We will take a break. We'll be right back. Floyd's Feed and Seed in downtown Dayville has an inventory to choose from for the entire family. Let's see here. Boots by Georgia, Laredo, and Dan Post. Carhartt for children and adults. If it's Wrangler jeans you're looking for, Floyd's has them too. Horse Tech, Lodge Cookware, and Rocking Chairs. Other items to choose from are jewelry, purses, and overalls. Miss Faye and the crew look forward to seeing you soon. That's Floyd Feed and Seed in downtown Dayville. 
If your New Year's resolution is to stop walking and start riding, then resolve yourself to run to Lake Martin Truck and Auto on Old Dadeville Road. Lake Martin Truck and Auto is the bank, and you don't need to worry about past credit, getting your tax money, or finding the ride that suits you. Because Lake Martin Truck and Auto has the lowest down payments and monthly payments in the area with the best selection. Don't let the Slick City dealer take all that tax money or hassle you with credit. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Old Dadeville Road in Alex City. McKay's Flowers and Gifts in Davil has a great selection of gifts to choose from, like Camille Beckman bath fragrance and lotions, Jennifer Jangle pocketbooks and backpacks, Willow Tree figurines, Heavenly Light candles, Jim Shore figurines, jewelry and purses, Alabama and Auburn and Davil Tiger items, gourmet soups, dips, Wickles pickles, and Aspen spice. Also, a personal bridal registry, along with a beautiful selection of flowers at McKay's Flowers and Gifts, 825-2890. First State Bank is a community-owned bank established in 1971 with a mission to be the bank for all people in the area with a primary focus on good old-fashioned customer service. First State Bank has convenient branches located in Lineville, Ashland, and Widawi. Since its founding, First State Bank has continued to grow and keep up with the banking industry changes in technology to give its customers the best service available such as internet and mobile banking. First State Bank, here to make dreams come true for... Arctic Air and Heat, your Mitsubishi and Ring dealer. Let me give you their telephone number because this is going to get cold. Well, it is cold. 256-794-4341. They've been keeping us warm during the winter months and cool during the summer months for many, many years. I appreciate the Kazayas, especially that Daryl Kazaya. Easy folks to deal with, and you're going to like them, especially when you're cold and you need to be warm. That's Arctic Air and Heat. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. The Sure Shot, located on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is Lake Martin Sportsman's headquarters. In the market for a new rifle or shotgun? Come to the Sure Shot. Want a new bow or need to practice with the one you have? Come to the Sure Shot. Thinking about a firearm for self defense? Come to the Sure Shot. Got a hunt planned and need some gear? Come to the Sure Shot. For all your archery, shooting, and hunting needs, let the Sure Shot be your first stop. For the For the best in repair and service, see The Depot Computer in Alexander City. Next door to Depot Gun and Pawn and The Music Depot. They sell service and repair desktops, laptops, tablets, and cell phones. Maybe you need parts like chargers, batteries, hard drives. They even offer data retrieval for disc failures and hard crashes. Great prices and great customer service. 60-day layaway, same as cash. Depot Computer, 3968 Highway 280, Alexander City. Sales, service, and repair. Featured artist tonight, my special friend, my buddy for many, many years, the one and only uh, Benny Bailey. We were just talking about, you brought it up, GTO. GTO. A purple one you had. Lavender. 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 It I'm ain't sorry, purple, I'm sorry. it was lavender. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, 65. Bought it off the showroom floor for $3,100. Wow. Yeah. How long did you keep it? I wouldn't make him but 80 cents an hour with a million over there. <laughs> you know, $3,100. $3, and it was a three speed. Three speed. Three eighty nine. Oh, yeah, 389 Did you ever get caught for speeding in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? <laughs> did you ever drag it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who Never got beat. Okay. Oh, really? No. Who, who, where would y'all go to, to drag Oh, uh, Down to uh, Coley Creek. Okay. I yeah. saw, that, that was one place I, yeah. I knew of. Coley Creek, and then there was a road in front of my house. Uh, Elkie Hatchie, down where I live right. now. But anyway, that used mm -hmm. to be before people moved down there. And uh, we moved, there was a drag strip down through there. 
And uh, yeah, golf. Who, who's some guys that you beat? Is anybody, is anybody uh, else Wendell Booze. Who? Wendell, Wendell Booze. Booze. Okay. He had a th well, what, what he have? Were you uh, a vehicle? Chrysler, a uh, Dodge. What was that thing? Char GT. Not, not no, GT X something. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, him. Uh, Ronnie Fuller. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tommy Hagen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, you're funny. We got a minute? Oh, yeah. Oh, friends of mine. I know you know them. Uh, come down there, and one of them had a 54 Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. One of them was Billy Ray Walls. Uh -huh. he, he had a, a 54 Chevrolet. When the booze had the Corvair. Mm -hmm. A Corvair? Corvair now. And they went over there, and... We went over and they put me down at a time. So who, who won? Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, so I went to the other thing. And now you can imagine how long it takes a Corvair and a fifty four <laughs> Chevrolet again. Hell, I drank a six pack of beer before they ever got in. <laughs> oh. I heard them coming. That that noise off that Corvair with that pipe. You can uh -huh. hear it was just a screaming. Well, I drank six beer before they ever got to the finish line. <laughs> I, I still, I used to kid them about that. That's oh. the slowest thing I've heard in my life. Oh, my goodness. No. What were some other vehicles that would try to, to beat the GTO? Uh, I'm just trying to think of what would have been, uh, maybe somebody that souped them up. Or, oh, Rodney, now, Rodney Fuller had a fast car. Mm -hmm. He was uh, uh, one of those uh, Coronets, 442. Mm -hmm. yeah, that thing, yeah. it would run. Would a Mustang, would you ever have any Mustang? Never run. I did run one Mustang down in Montgomery, and I mm -hmm. beat it. Mm hmm but uh, I didn't run many Mustangs. There was a, a Bumblebee. Bumblebee, okay. Well, Wayne. Uh, a Bumblebee, which had been in the Plymouth. Dodge. 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 Plymouth, wasn't it? Yeah, Dodge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had one. That thing, it would go. I'm telling you. So you were the, uh, the king of the drag strip? Uh, no. No. Uh, I was, yeah, there for about a month or two I was, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden here come these cars in. Uh -huh. they, they get souped up. Uh, Charles Pepper brought one down there. Little fire lane. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! That he'd that, been working on. That thing would just go off and leave you. Mm -hmm. He said it was stocking. Uh, he went to many. He won a many a race in Montgomery, mm -hmm. and they oh, even really? protested him. Just, they, they had to pay to have the motor took a bar. Uh huh. Never did find that. Though. Wow. Never. Charles no. Pepper. He, he'd been working on vehicles. Oh, well. Is that something that you were? You a mechanic? No. Okay. Okay. No, that's I mean, too. You have to know too much. Did did <laughs> did you ever? Before you went to the mill, did you ever work anywhere else around here? Did anything? You know, I don't think I did. Okay. I think my first job was at Russell that, Corporation, okay. and my last job was at, well, before it started closing down, was at Russell Corporation. But my first job was at Russell. I was 16 years old. I, used, I, worked, I worked there in the summer. Mm -hmm. I used to let the employees' kids come out there and right. work in the summer, yeah. you know, get them a little money. And oh uh, yeah, we used to make a dollar an hour. Dollar an hour. Oh yeah, big time. Oh God, yeah. Well, I didn't have nothing to spend it on, so uh, I just held on. They used to. You remember? You don't remember the barbecue? Russell, every Fourth of July, Russell had a barbecue. I've seen pictures up there on top of the hill with mm -hmm. school, and uh, they served big lemonade. Thing. Oh, big! Mm -hmm. Everybody come, mm -hmm. and they used to serve lemonade, mm -hmm. and they pay the people serving lemonade, but you had to be like four, 30, 12, 13 years old to serve it. So I couldn't wait till I got old enough to serve three dollars. Three dollars. Stayed there from seven o'clock that morning till that night and give me three dollars. You were the king. I would. <laughs> and hog ham. I went somewhere and bought three dollars worth of hamburgers. Y'all don't <laughs> you know, hey, you know, go anywhere. We're gonna come back and I think we're gonna have to wrap the show up. I hate that. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, those uh, uh were, were big mountains make so way. Lakemart Garage Towing, Tires, and Muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24-hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down. 256-825-6139. 256-825-6139. Also, they will beat competitor's price 
guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage, 256-825-6139. Pearson's Place in downtown Dadeville is proudly serving the Lake Martin area with fresh flowers, ladies' clothing, Mama's Secrets cookies, which are out of this world delicious, and a store full of great gift items. Donna McCain has 30-plus years experience in this business, and she would love for you to come by and see her. Pearson's Place, downtown Dadeville, 256-825-9998. For flowers, clothing, sweets, gifts, and more, visit Pearson's Place in downtown Dadeville. Call 256-825-9998. Downtown Body Shop, Airport Drive in Alexander City is now your truck and Jeep accessory dealer. WeatherTech products, two boxes, bed covers, lift kits, ranch hand bumpers, running boards, bush guards, rain visors, I'm talking about truck and Jeep, and it's just in time for Christmas time. And also, gift certificates, just in time for Christmas. I know I just mentioned that. I want to mention it again. Merry Christmas from Downtown Body Shop. Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new Open Fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids, along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. That's Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama. Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. They'll be open uh, tomorrow at the Soda Fountain. What's one of th your, your favorites over the years that you've enjoyed eating at the Soda Fountain at Carlisle? Well, that was fattening. It didn't make no difference. <laughs> Banana <laughs> splits, uh, it didn't make no difference as long as it fattening. I love it. That one. Carlisle's had the best. And, and they still do after all these well, years. Yeah, so make, make sure you uh, take the whole family out uh, for lunch at the uh, Soda Fountain. Can't beat uh, it. You're right. In Been downtown. there a long time. At Carlisle. Yep. <laughs> Talking about uh, uh, Carlisle banana split, Benny Baby own a uh, uh, banana split. What was they they put it in a, a bowl for you? They put it in a cup. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. They had them old plastic thing. Yeah. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. No, I, they put it in a cup and then just just started chunking stuff in there <laughs> and stir it up a little bit. You know? Uh -huh. Oh God. So so you can ask for the uh, Benny Bailey special. Oh yeah. At Carlisle, just put there. it in a cup. <laughs> And throw nuts in there and chocolate syrup and anything in the world is fat and put it in there. And it fits you just right. Oh, God. Because you, you was a growing boy. I was. You're see, still I, a growing boy. I didn't weigh you? about, I was probably about four foot and weighed 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Before I started eating in the <laughs> bread. So it really helped me along, made me grow taller anyway. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Thank you so much yeah. for uh, taking enjoy. your time to come out here. I really enjoy We'll it. do this again real soon. Hey, y'all have a, a good week, a great weekend. Remember, we're in a winter weather advisory. Let it so, not so, let it snow, ain't it so. See ya. Hey. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Sitting on with Kenny, out on with Kenny Dean. Uh -huh. yeah.